The Chosen Season 4 has officially completed its third week of production. These weeks are flying by, and this week we got a ton of new details for what exactly is going to be happening in the upcoming season. This week we have a lot of villain-centered scenes, as well as a scene that I believe will be a big Bible moment and a very recognizable one. Now again, if you haven't been caught up on all of my previous videos for the Chosen Season 4 production, I have two other videos covering the weeks of production and what exactly they've filmed so far, so if you want to check those out, please go to my channel, and if you want to see my future weekly updates, then you're going to want to subscribe to Against the Current and the Chosen Podcast. But I would like to issue a spoiler warning for those who do not want to know what's happening in the upcoming I know that it can be frustrating if someone spoils a big scene that you didn't want to know it was happening in the upcoming season. And that's completely fine. If you don't want to have it spoiled for you, then I would suggest not watching this video. But I hope that you'll continue to watch my other videos, like my reviews on The Chosen Season 4. And while you wait, you can listen to my podcast. I do want to point out, now, I live in South Florida, okay? Which means that I have the privilege of getting to go to the beach a lot. However, today I forgot to wear sunscreen, so please excuse my Bob the Tomato cosplay. I might wear this to the Chosen Con in October because it just looks so accurate. I am beet red and I am in so much pain. But just want to point that out so that nobody comments it down below and just clear that up. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sunburned. With that said, let's move right along to this week, which entailed days 9 through 14 of filming, relatively because there were some night shoots this week, which is a very interesting scene that I will get into later. But on day 9, we have this first clip from Adam Drake, the assistant director of The Chosen. Mm -hmm. Where this high esteemed Pharisee, who I believe has a big possibility to be Caiaphas, walks into this room in the synagogue, and this is a continuation of the scene that they filmed on week one of filming, where John, Zebedee, Big James is not there this week and neither is Tamar, but that whole scene where they're bringing oils to the Pharisees to get their blessing, it seems. And as we can see from this clip right here from Dallas Jenkins, the director. Writing, so we just tell him not to dip. this clip we can see Yusuf, Shmuel, Jairus, the other Pharisee who kind of looked like Jafar from season 3 episodes 5 and 6, Zebedee, John, and a third unidentified person who seems to be there at the head of the table. And I can't really make out who this person is. It looks like it might be Barnaby. There's a slight chance. But it could also be Yusuf's father. And as we can see from this video from Rebecca Rose. Uh, are you, I don't want to know Yeah, give us some more. I don't want to get you in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's start lowering it some more. Uh, let's right do a right pickle. Now, okay. All right, good. Uh, there seems to be an assortment of oils there on the table, which are likely being examined by the Pharisees to receive their blessing for Zebedee and John, or maybe not. Maybe they deny it. Who knows? Moving right along to day 10 of filming, there seems to be a focus on villains for these first two days, because here in this scene, we can see from Akis, the uh, cinematographer for The Chosen. Hey, Speeds. We are getting the return of Quintus this season. And the actor himself confirmed it on his Instagram with this video right here. It's enough to make a villain cry. Don't you just love Brandon Potter? He's the perfect mix of funny and quirky, as well as very evil and very menacing. But from this clip that we can see from the director himself, Dallas Jenkins. Thank you. It seems that someone has been brought in to make a bust of Quintus's head, and he seems to be making it out as he is sitting there. However, that is not the only person who is returning this season. We seem to have the return of none other than Atticus, everyone's favorite snacker. He is back on the set of The Chosen Season 4, and I could not be happier to see this character again. On this day of filming, we also have this image released by Dallas Jenkins himself, where the caption reads, A new character played by the great Tony Amendola. So this is a new character played by an older looking dude. It's hard to tell whether or not this is from this week of filming or if it was from another week. Maybe this could be Zachariah, which we know they filmed scenes for like on week one 
Or it could be a different character like Zacchaeus. I personally would really like to see the story of Zacchaeus portrayed in the show. I, I think Dallas has said before that he doesn't want to do that scene. But Dallas has also said before that he doesn't want to do the walking on water. So it'll be interesting to see who this new character played by Tony Amendola is nonetheless. So that was the end of day 11 of filming. And that brings us into day 12. We have this video from the director, Dallas Jenkins. And I want you to listen very closely to this. No right way to warn you what we see in the scene is Andrew, played by Noah James, sitting next to Jonathan Rumi as Jesus, and Jesus' sleeves are torn. This is a sign of mourning for the Jewish people at this time. And Jonathan mentions to Andrew, there is no right way to mourn. So, this scene is definitely taking place in the aftermath of John the Baptist's death. And since they're filming in sequential order more this season, and we know we've already filmed quite a few scenes, this might not be till episode two or even three. Um, but nonetheless, there's a scene where Jesus is mourning with Andrew, and they're definitely mourning the death of Jesus' cousin, John the Baptist. However, on this same day, day 12, which I put that in the quotation marks, because the assistant director, Adam Drake, did not arrive to set until the middle of the day. And as you can see in this video, which I'll play for you right here, He is not pulling up to set in the usual area, the usual Capernaum, town, city, or interior sets where they usually film stuff for The Chosen Season 4. He is pulling up to this forest area, and this is where they spend the next few nights filming, which is why I put uh, Day 12 in quotations, because the next few days of filming revolved around nighttime and a bunch of night shoots, which is very interesting. As you can see here, we also have this picture from Jelaine, one of the chosen insiders, where they're filming in a forest and you can see firelight bouncing off of the trees there. We also have this video from Adam Drake that I'll play for you right here. Tag me, Adam. It seems what? that they are filming in two locations this week for the night shoots. They seem to be filming in Capernaum for some of these scenes, and they also seem to be filming in this forest area. So I don't really know exactly what that's going to entail, these two different scenes, one in Capernaum at night and one in this forest at night, which I will get into what location I believe that's going to be later. These two different scenes could take place episodes apart or they could be happening simultaneously in the season. It doesn't, it's really unclear when these scenes are taking place and how close together they'll be. But since Dallas said they want to shoot more in sequential order this year, I wouldn't be surprised if they do take place relatively close together. But we also have this video from someone on the chosen set. We can see Shahar there standing next to the campfire, as well as what looks to be, in my opinion, looks to be Jonathan Rumi as Jesus. It's kind of unclear who this person is, but I believe it is definitely Jonathan. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you because I believe that this scene is going to be Peter's name change in Caesarea Philippi, where Jesus asks his disciples, who do others say that I am, and who do you say that I am? And Peter says, you are Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus changes Peter's name from Simon to Peter. I believe that that's what this scene is going to be. There's also a few other scenes in here. We get this clip from the chosen official page. Oh, okay. <laughs> or it seems that they are filming also daytime scenes. Maybe these scenes will kind of bleed together like it starts out in the daytime and then we kind of montage or, or go through a period of time to where it gets to be nighttime. And to where we get to this clip from the director himself, Dallas Jenkins. Um, I'm all right. Savannah, while you're at it. It's like one of the best. Oh, okay. Thank you. I have lost his watch. Where we see all of the disciples and Jesus standing next to the campfire. Thank you. 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 And I believe this is where Jesus asked them, who do others say that I am and who do you say that I am? Now, some people point out that Jonathan is not specifically here, but we know that he's going to be kind of one-on-one -on -one off to the side, maybe before the others get there or in a, I don't know. But we also get this clip from Dallas Jenkins that we can see right here. The pan? Yes. I am doing to Is that good now? Okay. 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 I just put the pan. Or we can see that Jonathan is sitting off to the side with Paris, who plays Matthew, and they're both heavy cloaked and kind of like incognito mode. So maybe they're sneaking through Caesarea Philippi because it was a very dangerous region and a very corrupt region. Uh, so 
maybe they're kind of sneaking through the city in disguise, and who knows why Jesus decided to go there. We don't get much information from the Bible. But they went there to preach, obviously. And it's a very long journey from Capernaum to Caesarea Philippi. So it would be interesting to see why exactly they're all wearing cloaks. We also finally have this video from Austin Allerman, who plays Nathaniel in The Chosen. Or we can see a really cool set where they have all these lights set up for moonlight and firelight and all these cool little effects. This is definitely going to be a cool looking scene, no matter what exactly it entails and what exactly is going to be said in this campfire huddle. So there you have it. There's everything that I gathered this week from the Chosen Season 4 filming. If I missed anything, be sure to let me know down below in the comments. And while you're down there, be sure to let me know what you think about all the stuff I did share and your theories for the upcoming season and what exactly you think is going to happen in The Chosen Season 4. And also, who's your favorite character or, you know, just say where you're from or anything like that. I'd love to get to know you down below in the comments section. I would love it and really appreciate it if you would subscribe to Against the Current A The Chosen YouTube channel and click that notification bell because you're going to want to stay notified for all of my upcoming videos on The Chosen Season 4 production. But with that said, I'll see you in my next video. Binge cheese.